morning guys hello so we're making breakfast and we just did a few eggs how many eggs one two three four five six, six eggs seven seven eggs <laughs> seven eggs so you just put salt pepper a little bit of water in there and scrambling it up then over here i blended up with this little attachment um one whole sweet potato and we're going to put it in here with some crushed red pepper some cinnamon Things of that nature, nope. but or you have other plans. Nope. I will show you what he does. He, he thinks he's gonna be sly. But Chloe, what are you doing, my love? What are you doing, my love? She doesn't know how to sit. Are you serious? Hey, if you, okay. So I was peeling the sweet potato over the fat, uh, trash can, and like a few pieces like fell on the floor. He's like, don't you leave that there. So, I brought the sweet potato up here to shred, and while it was shredding, I was going to come over here and clean it up. Come back, it's already cleaned. Magical. You, you want to get up there? He has all these beers to add to this collection. Oh my gosh, it's not gonna, you're going to have to triple up. Mm -hmm. No, not yet. Okay, well, we're going to eat. We're not going to eat. We're going to cook, and then we're going to show you what we ate. Or what we're going to eat. What? I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Okay, so basically you just put the shredded sweet potatoes in the pot over some oil. Is this the pot? Yeah. Pan. My bad. And then basically he just like stirred it around after we put nutmeg and some red. Your jelly is my recipe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this is Garrett's recipe. Um he doesn't really know what he's doing half the time, he just kinda does. So it has, so he just flips it like that, presses it down to the pan, flips it to brown in a little bit. But before he did that, he would put you the. Get that feeling your life's being narrated. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, I want people to know. Dude, and then this, pa the top, you put it on there, just like let it cook better and sweat down before you start pressing. So that's what he did. He put the top on, let it steam up a little bit, open it, stir it. And let it sit and brown. Yeah. <laughs> Something smells burnt. It's probably that. No. And I'm going to drink my coffee with coconut oil, organic honey, coconut milk, and gelatin. So, uh, you just toast the tortillas in the skillet. And soon we will eat. Hey okay, guys, so uh, Garrett's working on some of his stuff, but I'm doing outfits and trying to figure out outfits for, um, to do on the blog. Those down there are not outfits, those need to be cleaned. So I'm working on that right now, okay. so I can have outfits like boom, boom, boom for you, but I'm trying right now to style these pants. Yeah, they're cute, but that's what we're doing. Garrett likes my hat. You want to say hello? hello? Chloe doesn't like it, she's been trying to get it off his head since he put it on. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm turning this into my, like, little scarf area, my favorite scarf. I'm going to have, like, the overflow in there. Well, that's what I'm doing. He's being mischievous. He just shot something at me. But he looks so cute with his soldier boy hat on. Chloe didn't like it. Chloe, why don't you like it? Look at her. Should I get on the... What are you doing? She do not like it. Ah! Chloe, you want to be a soldier boy? Yes. 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 <laughs> She's so ridiculous. She literally will sit there while we're working on the computer and just watch what we're doing. She's so ridiculous. Guys, so I just. <laughs> Garrett was dancing, almost got it. He's making me eat carrots, raw carrots with nothing on them. Someone asked me about endometriosis and polycystic ovarian syndrome um, a few weeks ago about different things to prevent it in one really great way. To get your estrogen balance is. Are you getting a carrot? Still in here, uh, in the computer. I look like crap, but I'm not going out today. It is there's a, a tropical storm in the Gulf, so the weather is ridiculous here. Here, my hair. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna need to take a shower. But and I got one pimple here. Like, what is with this in my face? I'm a, I'm calling a dermatologist today to try to set up an appointment and go see him because my face hasn't been this bad in a very long time. But for the past year, it's been, like, look at that. That is no bueno. 
My face hurts, and I don't know what to do about it. So I'm going to call the dermatologist, and hopefully they can fix me. Yeah. I'm not feeling sorry for myself. Um, I am working on some stuff for my family's business, and things are going really well. Getting marketing strategies lined up and actually executing things have been really fun. And that's what I've been doing this morning uh, after I got Gary off the computer. Um, my hair looks really bad. Let me try to do something. Okay, not much of an improvement, but I just want to warn you guys, today's going to be a very boring vlog because I'm not really doing anything. Well, I'm doing a lot, but in this chair, in this room. I'm not really doing anything around the house or I'm not going anywhere because it's really bad. Like I said, I really do need to shower and wash my hair. My face is just so red. It's just driving me crazy. I didn't even use an exfoliate today, which could be why my face, my actual face is red instead of just like pimples. But, yes. Uh, I got nothing. Sorry. Okay, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, guys, so I just um, went outside. Uh, I was checking to see if it was still raining, and I saw this just bad bag box outside. And so... The mailman was super nice to put it in a little bag for me, which is really nice, like I said. Because like I said, it was like really raining outside. And see, it's like completely, I don't know if you can tell if it's really soaked, but. Um, I know if you're a brand ambassador for Just Fab, they'll send you birthday gifts. So I'm guessing that's what this is. So I don't even know what it is. I'm kind of excited. The box is kind of wet, but oh, that's all right. So in here is a note that says, happy birthday, sorry we missed your birthday last month, but we wanted to get you something fab to celebrate, XOXO, social media team, so that's really, really cute, and, oh, <laughs> it has a little cupcake in there, oh my gosh, is this a lip gloss, oh my goodness, I think it is, but isn't that cute, it's like a little bitty, I love how I'm more excited about the little bitty lip gloss than I am. Or if it's lip gloss. Oh my gosh, it is! It smells like, um, it smells like vanilla and coconuts maybe. But what is this? I think this is Taj Mahal and Brown, actually. What it looks like because I have Taj Mahal in like a gray white color. Yep, that's what it is. Oh, that's so sweet. Look how pretty that is. That's super cute. It's a doctor style bag, which I have Taj Mahal. Um, like I just said, the white one. So that's really cool. That's really sweet. Just fab, they take care of their ambassadors, they do. I will say that. So, aw, I'm so happy. I don't have any bags in this color. And I've needed something in a camel brown for a long time. And I love the style. So. Yes. I'm really happy taking all these things off. So bear with me. But also, I'm very shocked. Usually our FedEx guys and mail uh, people here are just like, whatever, they'll toss. They don't care what it is in the bag. They'll literally toss it, which they did toss it over my gate because I leave the gate locked because I don't want people just coming in my garage. But even if it were open, sometimes they just throw it out. One of the guys broke our gate trying to get in and ended up just throwing it and, went to, and it was on top of my car. So, yes, it's really nice of them to put a trash bag over it so it doesn't get soaked. Just kind of like really takes care, like all these little gold corners, they have it really taped off and so nothing can get on there. But, alright, so basically what you do, um, this can slide into this right here, which this is a little different, my other one like it's thinner, but it opens up. Like that, like a little doctor, doctor style bag. And it comes with a beautiful strap that goes with it. So, yay, I can't wait to style this. Um, just fab. Uh, guys, if you are watching, thank you so much for this. I really do appreciate it. Um, I can't believe, you know, y'all are just so good to us. Brand ambassadors. 
So, yay! I just did the easy one. Castle, what are you doing? Hi, my name's Richard. I'm a very generous man. Well, I'm obsessed I'm with Castle. Not as much as I used to, um, but they're about to come out in the season this fall, so I'm really excited about that. But I just show you these bombs. They're just so cuddled up, but I just got done eating, well, I'm not done eating the grapes, but I destroyed a egg and avocado sandwich. Okay, so for me and Garrett's honeymoon back in December, we went to the Lush store in Hawaii, and I bought this, it's uh, their fizz banger, I think, I, I, it's specifically for birthdays, like, uh, not pinata, like, I think, like, little things come out, but I'm going to show you really quick what it does. Okay. Okay, it's turning like really pretty pink. And you see it. It smells really good. It kind of smells like soda, actually. I guess from the baking soda in here. But it's just going to make the bath super pretty and pink. I guess. Get all the powder off of that. But yeah, that's all that one does. And I'm pretty sure Betty, like, um, little bitty, you know what I'm talking about, sparklers or something. I think that's, oh yeah, um, here it is, like, little bitty pieces of confetti pop out. Well, there's one piece of confetti. But anyways, um, I'm about to take a bath because I really need one. I need to shave my legs horribly bad. And I really need to wash my hair. So, I will see you guys in about an hour. Ah! <laughs> okay, so this looks kind of ridiculous, but this is the new mask that I told y'all I was going to show you. It's the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Facial um, Polishing Mask Charcoal and Black Sugar. And it's a dual action purifying mask and smoothing exfoliant. So, it's basically just charcoal and sugar and I guess some essential oils. And you see that it's really patchy. You can't really blend it in or make it even. So you put it on your skin for like 15 minutes and then you rub it into your skin for like, I think it said two minutes. It says, apply a mask to face and neck. Avoid contact with eyes. Leave on for five to seven minutes. Gently massage for one to two minutes and rinse with warm water using two times a week for a, or as often as needed. So pollution to breathe. It's a wonder skin can breathe. This unique mask and scrub works double time to detox skin. First, naturally purifying activated charcoal helps absorb oil and impurities without ever drying. Then much sugar helps exfoliate away dead, dulling skin cells for softness and clarity for overall skin type. So I have used this already before and I really did enjoy it, but I was still kind of confused on how to use it. So I went through that little trial. So I'll let you guys see my skin after um, I get out of the bathtub and show you how like it kind of did in like purifying and making my skin really smooth. So, I'll talk to you when I'm done taking a ball. Okay guys, so I wanted to show you my skin after I did that thing. My skin definitely feels smoother, softer. It is more red, but it doesn't feel irritated or anything. I didn't have to put a moisturizer on, or at least I'm not putting a moisturizer on. Since it's not time to go to bed yet, I'm going to wash my face again. My face is very red, and I probably should have put a moisturizer on, but I didn't. Um, so, my video for Friday is ready and locked and loaded to do automatic upload on my beauty channel, Christine GXOXO. And yes. Oh, I was going to talk to y'all about the face mask. Okay. So it's made with black sugar. It has um, charcoal in it. And whenever you put it on your face, it it's really, really thick product. It's not creamy at all. The way it applies it, like, patchy because... You know, you don't want to rub it into your skin first before you um, wait a while. You want to rub it into your skin afterward, which I guess you can. I don't know. There was no rules against that. But you saw on my face how it's kind of like not an even surface like the clay masks are. Um, whenever you put it on, it's the only way I could think to describe this. Um, it doesn't get cold at all. It gets a little bit warmer, kind of like a few degrees warmer on your skin. The only thing I can think to describe it was like when you're in bed and you put the covers over your face how you get a little bit warmer on your face like just a little bitty bit that's how it is it it's really weird um feeling but I do like the sugar and how it like rubbed into my skin and how it made my skin feel um my skin looks really really red but my blackheads and my pores have um definitely gone down a lot so yes 
I'm working on Vlogmas Day 13, which I should have done earlier. I just get in these like weird moods where I'm like, oh, I just popped up like three vlogs. <laughs> I'm good for a few days. No, because that's how I can do on my main channel. I can put them up and they're going to like automatically go up. But this one's like every single day. So I need to get Vlogmas uh, yesterday up for you guys and go ahead and edit most of this one so this one can go up in the morning. So that's what I'm going to do. I need a water though because I feel like I'm overheating. It's kind of warm. Um, yes. So, I will talk to you guys in a minute. Alright guys, so we're eating in sections. We're eating some more of the soup. We got the ground beef in there. And we have the broccoli rob, the rapini, and roasted garlic in there cooking. Uh, I tried to do the chicken that we bought on, I guess it was Sunday when we bought it. And it was a bust because it went bad already. And for some reason, Whole Foods meat has been going bad. Like the first two. No, it's because we wait too long to cook it. It could be that we wait too long to cook it, but the yes. first time we bought from them, or the first like three or four times we bought from them, like the meat lasted forever before we cooked it. But the past like five or six times, it's been going bad like within two to three days. So like a like a rancid smell. So I try to wash all the stink off to see if that was a difference, but no, it still stinks. So we had to throw it away. But we're eating, and Garrett's rudely drinking a beer in front of me because I don't have anything at home. It's red. It's apple and ale and a no, beer it's bottle. Not, it's not red. It's apple. I don't want to talk to it's you anymore. I missed him a lot today. And so I'm just kind of whiny. So we're going to eat. I'll show you the food, all the food when it gets out. But this is the ground beef. It just has onions, some of that may, uh, mustard, and the ground beef. Cooked. He won't do it. Say goodnight. Goodnight. You got to face the camera and say goodnight. Do it, please, for me. Goodnight. Okay. And Chloe says goodnight. Rocky, where are you at? Where you at? Right there. There he is. It was so disgusting because sometimes when they go to the bathroom, they don't get it all. So their booties are still dirty. So we have to wipe their booties sometimes. It's so disgusting. But we use like wipes, like Cottonelle wipes. So it's smooth on their hind end. And we double it up a few times so it doesn't touch us. And then we wash our hands like profusely afterwards. It freaks us out. I don't see you do that. But it was all I wash my hands in there. Your eyes are all red. Okay. So yes. I'm calling a dermatologist tomorrow. I know I talked about all that today, but I need to because it's getting worse. And I know it's hormonal because I'm about to be on my period. But anyways, good night guys. I'll talk to you in the morning. <laughs>